what you're going to need is three long strips of uh, string. And uh, we've got a, a, a cup on the table. Uh, off the table. Okay, now back to where we were. And the little pieces come off. Don't have a go eating it, and you throw those away, and you need to get down too. What's more prettier in the morning than your chickens waiting on you? Hello, Helen. Hello everyone. Well, by so many people requesting, well, I'm going to do the onion braid and show you guys exactly how to braid your onions uh, so you can use them through the year to preserve them and use them. And we got a little helper today. Um, Frankie's decided to come and help me. I don't know how much she's going to help me, but we are going to try to attempt this with Frankie. But, what you're going to need is three long strips of uh, string. And uh, we've got a uh, uh, off the table. Okay, now back to where we were. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Okay, and here we go. We're gonna get us three strands. And uh, we just got goats everywhere today. I've been gone for a couple hours and uh, they haven't got a chance to play outside and uh, or aggravate me. So basically I've got three goats aggravating me. Okay, and there we go. We got our three strands of string. Okay, and what we're going to do, oops, I thought I had that one cut. And what we're going to do is lay our three strands here without Frankie eating them. Now, Frankie, you're going to have to cooperate here. And I've got another goat over here. Okay, let's get back. We're going to lay these in threes. Okay, one, two, three. Now he doesn't like onions, but he does like the basket. Okay, come on. Okay, and we're gonna try to get our biggest onions toward the bottom. And I wish my string wasn't just so kinky, but it is, it's just raveling up. So, and Albert's wanting out really bad, but he, he just can't get out. Okay, let's find our biggest onion. This is going to be one of our biggest ones. And you tie these right at the bottom two or three times. I usually do it twice. Okay, there's one onion. And I'm going to hold that with my leg. There. Let's find another big one. This is a pretty good one. There's another big one. OK, 
Okay. We'll tie this one twice. All right, all three are tied. And I'm going to kind of hold all three of these down temporary with my leg, only to hold them straight up. Okay, then we take and we braid it once. Just like you would braid a braid. Then you put another onion over the braid. And the no pieces come off. If you don't have a goat eating it, then you throw those away. And you need to get down too. As I'm braiding, guys, I'm twisting them back and forth. And I'm sorry about our goat hollering. He is just hollering so bad, wanting to uh, me to come out there and let him out. But with three of them out right now, it's just not good. Braiding, you tie your little top, two or three knots at the very top, and I'm going to take these little squigglies off, get anything that looks 
a little rugged there and we'll show you the aftermath and there you go this one come off there you go then you hang them up and you use these in the winter time guys these are what you use in the winter uh, you hang up in a dark area or in a dark area in your kitchen and these will be good all year long and there you go guys and these are your braided onions How to preserve your onions for winter time.